Hey guys and welcome to Nintenduary, a month where we review different Nintendo 64 games every day for the entire month. Today, we're taking a look back at Pokemon Snap. This game has a pretty simple premise. You are a photographer and you must take pictures of Pokemon. Oh boy. This is a literal on-rail shooter of pictures. And for some odd reason, it's actually pretty fun. I gotta give Nintendo credit here because this is actually a pretty unique idea. And this is actually one of the first time players get to experience Pokemon in a way that has never been experienced before. At this time in Pokemania, the period of time where Pokemon was at its highest, kids only had three real ways to explore the Pokemon universe. Play the video games, which were just basic Game Boy experiences with 8-bit graphics. Watch the TV show, which really showed a lot of the Pokemon world and let kids' imagination surrounding the world kind of enhance a little bit and follow the story that Ash goes on. And play the trading card game, which for most kids was actually just Pokemon art collecting unless they actually figured out how to play the game. But Pokemon Snap actually provided a new dimension that managed to merge the concept of an active Pokemon world as seen on the TV show with a game that people could play and let players interact with Pokemon in that Pokemon world in a unique way. It kind of feels like a Disney World ride where there are Pokemon based on which ride you are on and you gotta take pictures of everything. And as you progress in the game, you get some items that will help you maybe catch some Pokemon pictures that you didn't get to catch the first time you went on that Pokemon ride, if that makes any sense. Of course, you could also unlock new pathways that take you somewhere else, and the overall way that this game is presented and done actually works pretty well here. And of course it helps that the Pokemon range from cute to adorable to badass, and it's a pretty cool concept. The main complaint is that there aren't enough Pokemon in this Pokemon picture taking game. I really wish all 151 Pokemon would have made it into the game. Instead, there are only 63 you can actually take pictures of. And Oak's scoring system really doesn't make any sense at all. Now, playing back in the early 2000s, it was really cool getting to go to Blockbuster to print out the pictures of the Pokemon that I took. And that's just a concept that, like, literally would never exist today. But it was really cool back then. Today's assignment, photograph the elusive Pokemon. The overall game is pretty short, and you could probably beat it in just about four hours, maybe a little less, but there's this charm to the game that really matches up with my imagination as a kid as to what the Pokemon world would be like if it was real, and what it would feel like. And getting to feel like I was in that world, even for just a little bit, and getting to experience something outside of the TV show was really an experience that I kind of hold near and dear to me. I don't know. I don't know why I like this game so much. Maybe I'm looking at it with just rose tinted glasses, but I don't know. It just, it, this game really just stands out in its own unique way. This game was re-released on the Virtual Console on both the Wii and the Wii U, and I hope that if the Switch gets the Virtual Console, we will see it on there too. But I would rather have a Pokemon Snap 2 in 2018. I would buy that in a heartbeat, and I've been asking for it for years, but we don't know. We just gotta hold out and wait. The team who made the game are behind it, so it's up to Nintendo now, and I would buy it, and I think a lot of people would buy it too. I recommend this game to any Pokemon fan who is curious about it. If the idea of taking Pokemon pictures sounds fun to you, then this game might just be for you. I don't think I'd recommend this to anyone who's looking for an entry level into Pokemon, but if you're looking for something to try out, give it a snap. But that's all for today, guys. If you've enjoyed this video so far, check out our other Nintenduary videos. We got a few Nintenduary videos yet left to finish off this month. Tomorrow, Luke is taking a look at some Star Wars Nintendo 64 games, so make sure you guys tune in and subscribe because you don't want to miss what's coming up next.